Today, uh, we wanted to show you that it doesn't cost that much to start the practice of creating and painting. The supplies that we have here today were obtained at your local dollar store for under $20. I brought some painting examples of my bears. This is what we will be doing today. I brought different colors so you can um, do whatever you want, whatever your favorite colors are. but. Just an example of all the things and all the different looks that we can get. I'll just go through the basics of the color mixing because what we've got here is your three primaries, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. And from that, we basically can get any color. But it's a matter of just uh, trial and error to see what we, what we can come up with. So to get the orange, we simply did red and yellow together. And if we mix, red and blue together, we'll get purple. If we mix red, yellow, and blue, we get brown. If we start bringing white in, we can make everything much lighter. So red and white, pink, blue and white, obviously that will be a lighter blue. But if we want to get a purple, let's add red to that mix. So if you all have a pencil, you can do this with me. So I'm going to do like a half, like a half ellipse, okay? Now if you're crooked, your ellipse is crooked, that's great, that's even better because I find that if the bear is on an angle, he's even got more character, it's funnier. And we're gonna do Mickey Mouse ears wherever you want those circle ears, okay? Now I think what we'll do is we'll start with the background I want you to think about what color you like for your background and what color you like for your bear. Just keep in mind to make them contrasting. So blue and yellow, orange and white, blue and white, purple and white, purple and yellow, something that will pop the bear. So I'm picking this paintbrush. I mean, you can use any one you want. Um, big is great for the background as well. It almost is the bigger the paintbrush, the freer you are. It does really help. Uh, I think today I'm gonna mix a little blue and red and get some purple out of that. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. It looks a bit dark. Well, actually that's okay. Maybe a little touch of white in there. Okay, so I've got this purple. And don't worry if you don't get enough paint. Mix it again. It's nice to have variety in the background. And we're gonna start by trying to get close enough to the ears and the top of the head. Don't worry if you go over too much. Don't worry about that. Because the nice thing about it is we're gonna paint the background. Then we're gonna wait till it dries. Just make sure you pick it up and make sure you check the sides that you're going underneath enough. You don't want the white spots to appear. If you'd like to try lightening up one side, just add a little bit of white to your background color and then mix it in. Decide what side is going to be your lighter color. And same thing, if you want to add a little bit more dark, you might add more red, more blue. I'm not sure. It depends on what color you're working with. Okay, now we'll just wait till our paint dries and then we'll come back and do the bear in the front. Okay, so now we've had our break and our background is dry. So we're going to start on the bear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a white bear to begin with. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see because we're painting white on white. I'm using a little bit smaller paintbrush but I'm gonna cover it. We'll go ahead, we'll uh, all do this together. Do the main guy first and try and get a nice smooth line to smooth out the bear between the bear and the background. When you get to the ears, it's a bit fun. You can make it just uh, circle around the Mickey Mouse ears here. Show you that going around, round, 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 round. I'll show all of you and the audience at home. Here, I'll show you. I'm going around, around, around. Just keep going around. It gives a really nice shape. Okay. 
Now the really most fun part, I find, you can do this even if you haven't finished that. If you use a paintbrush and use the side of the paintbrush, and think of it as like the, the narrow side there, then I'm going to move this so you can see. I'm going to give it a little flick. Flick. I'm going to be doing this with every color anyway. Little hair on top. I don't have a ton of paint. I'm actually pulling the paint that already exists anyway. I'll go with the, the shape of the ear. Go around him. I'm going to do this in all the colors anyhow. So we'll have lots. Let's make sure you leave some background so we can still see the color coming through. I think when we do our, when we start with colors on top, it's think of the darks first, as if the shadow is on one side. So I'm going to make that blue because blue and white are very easy to blend. So I'm going on one side, just like down the little edge of that on one side, nice and smoothly. Another thing I'm going to do is take that same color. If it doesn't blend well because it's so dry already, add more white. Just blend it nicely with some white. And it's okay to have lines, like streak lines, because that's the fur lines, right? That's okay. I'm also going to do the inside of the ear. I'll show you this. So this part, this part there, the ear, I'm going to do that part there. Okay. We want to have it dark. It doesn't matter if it's perfect because we'll go over that. The fur on top will cover a lot of that. On the other ear, I'm doing the same thing. My brush is quite dry. It's up to you if you want to try that method. It's quite nice to work with a dryish brush, so not too much paint on it. Okay, now we're going to all go off on a tangent in a different way by choosing different colors. I'm going to start with a yellow, very pale yellow, on the right side of my painting. And I'm going to do the same thing I did over there on that side, but I'm going to do it on the right side. So this is the light side, the lighter side. And what I think is important too, actually I'm probably not going to go near the bottom, more near the top, like so. And then I'm going to hit the top of the ears because the light would hit the top of the ears. So just think of always, keep that in mind that the sun is shining. Go across your, the ear, the darker part of the ear, and then drag the fur up, okay? So I'm making a nice crisp line going there, and I might just add, might add some fur while I'm at it down there, okay? So now we've got a light color on one side, a dark color on the other, and the ears are darkened in the inside. And now we can just have fun mixing colors, mixing oranges or reds or blues or purples, all the colors, and let's put them on top. If I use my brush very, very gently, I'm going to get these lines that, like, I've got paint on my brush, but I'm not pushing hard at all. I'm getting these fur lines, basically, like that. Very gently, gently. And I think at the bottom, I might color it in a bit uh, darker. These brushes are wonderful for creating that fur kind of a look. And these are the brushes that I use professionally. You can also add white on top to give it that, if you've lost some of the lightness to your painting, I, you know, especially at the top, the top of the guy's head, I'll turn it around and show you. Um, top of his head and his ears. Kind of, as we start putting more paint on, we tend to lose the, that lightness that we started with. I've got a big blob of red in the middle. I'm going to put some more red a little bit to the edge of my purpley blue side, just so that there's a connection. So he's not just a, a block of a few colors, right? So that nose will join it all up together too. You get to a point where I'm getting to now, where I think if I keep going, it's going to be mucky. Also check to see if you've got any of the canvas showing. So I see that at the top. It looks like I've got the little 
it's almost like you see the grid of the canvas. Mm. No, I don't want to see that. It looks like it hasn't been covered yet. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to take a, a, a break and wait till this dries and come back when I know it's dry and I'll put the eyes. Oh, sorry, before I do that, I better put a little bit of um, shadowing of where I think I want the eyes to be. So I'm going to use my paintbrush sideways again. So the long side, and I'll show you this. I'm going to do just a little bit of that. Any color? Any color but darker. Don't do lighter because we want the eyes to be re like set in. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now we'll take a break and let it dry. Okay, so now our bear is dry with the underneath colors. And we're going to do the eyes first in black, and then we're going to do the nose after it, and then we'll have to wait till it dries. So I'm using the tiniest paintbrush that I have. It's mine's on an edge. I don't know if you all have this one. It's all in it. You don't need the kind that's that shape that I have, but just think about using an edge. Then you don't get big blob eyes. So I'm going to put it in the black, not a lot at first, okay? And I'm going to go just simply like that, okay? Just to give it a little bit of personality. So decide how big your eyes you want to be. I, I never make them perfect. They're always a little bit, you know, off. And I think that's okay too. And then once we've done that, we're going to do the nose. Now decide where you want to have the nose. Do you want to have the nose up a bit anywhere on your face? We can have this big black nose. You can put it anywhere underneath the eyes, of course, but then you'll want to have to do a mouth. If you don't do it that way, then we'll go, we'll do it, we'll do it this way. Okay, so at the bottom. This is simpler. We're just doing a half circle or half oval. Okay, so I would start with black paint, same brush, and I'm going to go around try and do the outside of my bear like that. See the, okay, like that. But that's just where I decided to put it. And don't forget, we're also going to cover the bottom. The nose can continue down on the edge down below too. Once this is dry, we'll wait and then do a white highlight. Doesn't even matter. You want to do a square shaped nose? It's up to you. Because it's so dark and it's covering so much color underneath, you might have a few, just like the background, you might have to go over it a few times. Just make sure you don't forget about the bottom part. It's fun when your canvas wraps around and continues. And now you should see your painting coming to life a bit. Good. I'm going to wash my paintbrush off and then I'm going to wait again. So if you've done this, I can do the mouth now? Yes, if you're, if you're the process, we've got a question about the mouth. If you have a nose that's higher, you want to do a mouth, I always just, I do it crooked only because it gives it personality. You, you decide. So it just, it's, it's like the letter C with a line below it. So that works with any animal. Dog, you know, any animal, bear, anything. And then we'll wait until that dries and we'll put the white highlight and then we're done. And if you like, don't forget, you can add a little fur to the eyes. If your eyes are dry, you can add a little fur on top, just a tiny bit. You don't want to get... No, I'm thinking more like the haircut. <laughs> yeah, like obviously the bear needs a haircut. Yeah. So now we're going to put the white highlight on the nose. Just white, pure white. I'm going to use this brush that's on an angle. You don't have to, but I happen to have it. I'm going to use the flow of that brush. And I'm just going to, doesn't, you can't be wrong on this. We're just going to hit the, the corner. Basically, I'll show you this. I'm going to hit the corner as if the light hit the nose, following the shape of the nose, okay? 
back. As it's drying, I'm just going to add more white because that black keeps coming through. You might have to let it dry and then come back to it to make it more white. And if you don't like what you've done, wait till it dries, go back in with black and just keep going back and forth till you like what you've got. And the only thing left to do really is if you have a permanent little thin marker, you can sign it and that's it. I hope you've created a fantastic bear with us today.